Oh my gosh. Okay. So as you can see the title of this video, it says Elon Musk does think that we are in the true recession. Now I have to agree with him. I know that some people don't like him. They have a lot of fuss against him. Um, right after obviously he purchased for well, only forty-four billion dollars Twitter. Um, and we yet don't know exactly the really main reason that he did that. We have been hearing a lot of bad things about it. Obviously, him uh, having to uh, drop down from being CEO and hopefully hiring somebody outside. Uh, I know I own some Twitter uh, stocks, whoop, and obviously they were purchased by him. And you know what? There's a lot of positive and negative. Some people like him, some people hate him. Um, I like to be very neutral and I always like to see uh, the good perspective or someone can bring, especially when we're dealing with so much difficult times economically as we are. And I wanted to share this video, what he was actually talking about, as you can see, it says the recession, recession will get worse. And I do agree with him. I really believe so as we're ending, uh, you know, pretty much as, you know, we, we, we're starting here, you know, um, 2023. And I do believe that we are, we've been in recession. I know a lot of people have disagreed. That's great. That's uh, the, the, the freedom of speech, which is something else. I uh, do disagree with him because in Twitter, just recently, uh, he actually removed a bunch of journalists. Um, and if indeed, uh, you know, he wanted to buy, you know, he purchased, right? Uh, Twitter was with the purpose of giving more freedom uh, for people like us to be able to speak our mind without any type of fear. Um, so anyhow, I disagree some things with him and others I do. And like I said, the fact that he's removing those journalists and uh, pretty much um, suspending their accounts. Uh, I, I, like I said, I don't agree with, uh, you know, Elon Musk doing that. I think that he should think about it twice just because you're the owner of a company that's entitled you to give, um, to take away really your constitution rights of the United States. Uh, for at least those that we are aware of what our constitution rights are, right? Um, but other than that, I do agree with him in the sense where he's talking about, you know, the, the recession and how, and I'm going to just play the video for a, a couple of uh, minutes, but it's just, it's good to see that, you know, he's one of the richest men in, in, in the world. And I think that he has a different vision. And what a lot of people are thinking against is true leaders. A true leader like him is someone that is not only successful just by, uh, you know, uh, luck, a strike of luck. He's done a lot of hard work to it. And it's a man who has to be extremely intelligent. Um, obviously, he has a mastermind. He has other experts around him that is obviously supporting him and assisting him uh, to become even more successful. So we do need to listen to people who have made it to the top, maybe 1%. Uh, obviously, he's done something different that all of us, we have not done. Um, so the point is that I really wanted to share this because I know, like I said, there's a lot of hate and love against, uh, you know, Elon Musk, and I'm pretty neutral. Like I said, I disagree what he has done recently. Again, I repeat myself with Twitter and banding all these accounts from journalists. Um, the fact that he uh, reinstated uh, Trump's, uh, you know, account, that's fine. Again, he has the title of speech, but if you can give something to him and take away from others, then that's kind of um, a double blade, I look at it. Now, why I am doing this video? Because like I say, I'm very neutral and I do believe that recession is here. And I also will agree with him when he mentions that it's gonna be probably until 18 months um, until we actually see something happening. Unfortunately, we know we printed too much money or did we really print money? Because now in these days, I mean, uh, fiat money is, is dissipating as we go on into more a digital, uh, you know, currency. It was. So let's listen um, to this. But, you know, it, these things pass and then there will be room times gain. Um, so it'll probably be some, some tough going for mm -hmm. I agree. You know, a year, uh, maybe, maybe, you know, 12 to 18 months is maybe. usually um, the, the amount of time that it takes for, for the, a correction to, to happen. 
in the video, it is clear that. And it's true. I, I do I do agree, again, it, it could take up to 18 months. I think the most important that we need to take out of this, uh, you know, his knowledge, just to say the least, is that we all need to be prepared with the cash flow. Meaning we need to be more precautious in how we're spending our money, right? Because I always tell people there's a differential between spending and investing. And uh, if this is the first time you come across, uh, you know, my video, my name is Liz Soria. I am a tax accountant. I consider myself to be very proactive, been doing this for only 16 years. And I do help my clients to be able to have a better vision of how they need to invest their money, because I believe that we all work hard for our money, but it's very important that we know how to intelligently utilize the money to make more money uh, without having to work for it. Um, so I do believe the recession can last for a while. Um, the problem with stocks is that we know that it's a very liquid, you know, equity and capital. So people can just get off within 24 hours or less. So, you know, the market reacts very quickly. Um, if, like I say, you have been following my channel, I want to say thank you. I appreciate always your support. And for those of you who are new, um, my main objective here is to share my thoughts and my event skills to help people like you uh, to be able to understand that there's better ways of investing. And especially as we are in a recession, and this might take another probably 12, 18 months from the point that you watch this video. So if indeed it is, then the best you can do is keep your cash flow, um, you know, really review your budget, whatever you don't need, get rid of it. That's definitely a big tip. And third of all, you know, look at other ways that you can invest. Yes, bonds are very secure. Cash under the pillow, the mattress, we call it. It's not going to do anything for you because, again, because we're in a recession, you're losing money. So what you want to do is generate as much as you can out of the money that you already have, that you already made, right? So anyhow, I just wanted to share this because, like I said, I do, I'm a firm believer that we always want to listen to those who, who are really more successful than we are. And I, I feel like I do agree with him in this part. And like I said, um, he's been a very good, um, uh, really a, a leader, but a, a visionary. And a lot of people, I think that kind of gets them upset, but he does have a vision that some of us would lack. And I think there's nothing more wonderful to see that either way, he's been something constructive to our society. And I want to do the same thing in my own way in a small degree, but uh, that's why I created this channel and I've been on YouTube for over a decade now. And this is my intention is to provide free, you know, education uh, to the public where I can share my knowledge as, like I said, an accountant, but also as a, you know, as a, as a tax advisor uh, and to tell, you know, people out there, please be smart with your money. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter how much you're making now. We always need to look towards the future, whether it's two years from now, three years from now, five, 10 years, whatever time you got to retire, it doesn't matter. It's important that you invest the money, like I said, cash flow. It's important if you're running a business, you must have cash flow. I don't care what your PL says, your profit and loss, and your balance sheet, but if that cash flow is not coming in, uh, you're going to have an issue in your business, even as an entrepreneur. And second of all, like I said, trying to cut down whatever expenses are necessary. And for taxpayers, for people who are independent individuals, the employees, again, what can you do to be able to reduce your taxable amount and at the same time invest something that is going to be solid for your future? Yes, stock is still an option, but depending on the percentage based on your age, Okay. So again, I hope my uh, suggestions help some way, somehow, and that is my intention always to help people like you uh, to do better for your financial education and your future. So again, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate always your support and I hope to see you in the next video. Like I said, I have a lot of uh, different videos in regards to investing, not only in crypto, but also, yes, you heard me right, uh, and even in real estate or even stocks, I do them all. And because I believe that we diversify small percentages and when one goes up, hopefully another one goes down and you can make up, you know, the difference. Anyhow, I hope to see you next time. 
and I wish you really bad, the best. And especially and most important is that you're able to invest smartly. Take care. This is Liz Bye-bye.